Hello Stratters and welcome, my name is Bobgar and I am playing some Modern today, some Eldrazi, Hate Bears, slash Taxes, slash whatever the heck you want to call this deck. I like calling it Hate Drazi. I, don't, I think the term I've heard is Eldrazi and Taxes, but Hate Drazi is my preferred term. It is so full of hate, and so full of Eldrazi. And the game is starting against RDX Gods. I will go first. Hello, good luck, have fun. Uh, I think this is keepable. It doesn't seem like the best hand I've ever seen, but it seems keepable. I can turn two Arbiter if I want. I can turn one Aether Vial, which seems decent. Probably not Godless Shrine right away, just because I don't have any real reason to. I could also turn two Tide Hollow if I wanted to, which could be better. In fact, I probably will turn two Tide Hollow. Um, it's probably better. What did he pick? He picked Slivers. Oh, it's a Slivers deck. That's one of my favorites. I don't know how good this is against Slivers decks. Probably not very good, but we'll find out. At least if I'm playing against a Slivers deck, I'm not going to feel so bad. Yeah, let's take, let's take the damage. Let's do it like this. Um... Diffusion Silver is pretty annoying. Collected Company is going to be a huge blowout, but he's not there yet. Mana Weft, he needs to wait a little while till he gets there. Gale Rider, he can play next turn, but I'm not super worried about it. He has two Mana Weft, so I think I think I'm just going to take the uh, Lord. Uh, I should have snapshotted that, but I didn't because I'm a nub. Oh, he found a second land. Well, that's not so good for me. I guess maybe the Diffusion of Sliver was the right choice just to turn back on my path to exile. He's probably going to play a Mana Weft here. I don't actually know. You could play either. They'd both be pretty good. Nope, looks like Diffusion. That is kind of what you want to hit the battlefield with first. Um... Seems fine. Yes, I want to up this. Oh, wow. Um, let's just go to this. Swing on in, my little minion. Yeah, he's gonna ether vial in his flyer. Yeah, seems pretty good. I mean, I have my choice basically of whether I want to ghost quarters. Oh wow, he is drawing lands, which is really not bad for me, but a little surprising given what I've been doing. I don't know what I want to Aether Vial. Well, not Aether Vial, uh, Path to Exile. I think I'll bump my, my Aether Vial to 3 in case I draw a 3 drop, that way I can leave mana up for, if I do I can leave if I draw, if I draw a two drop, I can play it with land anyway, and if I don't, I can, you know, ghost quarter, path to exile, or whatever. Okay, I might even try to double block here. I don't know. Uh, I know what he's probably gonna do. He's probably gonna collected company. Let's up that. Yep. More land. I am getting kind of land flooded. Well, I think if he wants to collected company. Oh, it's hard. So I can I can try to ghost quarter something, and then if he wants to collected company, he needs to do it before the ghost quarter hits, and th then he wouldn't be able to search. 
But he might not care, because he's going to Aether Violin and Mana Weft anyway. So maybe that's the right thing to do. I don't really have... I have way too many of these anyway. So I'm interested to see how he reacts to this. Because if he Aether... If he, uh, if, it, if, that, if he doesn't collect a company, I feel pretty confident swinging in with really either of my guys. I, I'm not super scared. Okay, so he pays for the cost so he can search instead. Perfect. Alright. You can double block if he wants to. I'm okay with that. No blocks at all. He goes to 11. That also works. And he puts in mana weft, I assume. But that's what I would do. Yep, mana weft. This is a, this is a matchup my deck is not going to be particularly good against. Um, he doesn't naturally do a lot of deck searching. I mean, it's, he probably runs like yeah, runs windswept teeth and things like that. So he runs a few uh, fetch lands, but not a lot. Oop, he's playing something. That's another mana weft, that's fine. So far, nothing that's scary. He just lets the rest of the mana empty. That seems like a mistake. And he swings for one, sure. Let's see what I get. Uh, let's leave that on three. Another path. If I wanted to, I could path both of his things. Um, I think I'm going to path this and then pay the two. That way I can path anything else later if I want to. Just let me undo for now. I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do that yet. Because I, I wanna see how he blocks if he blocks. Not really worried about their flying right now. Doesn't just takes it. Alright. Goes to seven, second main. Okay. turn. Well, it's closer than I thought it would be, given that I've only drawn, like, two creatures, and... <laughs> I mean, I do... I, the path to exiles are not terrible against him. Wow, another Cavern of Souls. Holy cow, he's drawn three of them. That's insane. But, like I said, at least, if he was drawing the Lords, I'd be a lot more worried. He's drawn a lot of land. So, it's kind of good for me. I mean, if I was him, I would leave up, um, maybe he's just going to main phase it. Yeah, collected company. I, I would leave up collected company if I were him. Uh, okay, the Sedge Sliver. Oh, he got, he hit two lords off it. That is both impressive and pretty lucky, although he's been a little bit unlucky recently, so I don't feel so bad about that. In that seems fine. Uh, let's see if it did that. I just cannot draw anything other than yuck. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Um, one, two, three. F yeah, there's nothing in my deck that's going to require me to need this, so I'll just strip mine that while I can. I think I swing with both and see if he blocks. And if he, whatever he blocks with the sedge sliver, I will path the sedge sliver. He's got to know something's up. Okay, that's exactly how I was hoping he would block. Okay, path to exile the sedge sliver. 
Uh, yeah, he does not get to search. Those two kill each other. And he goes to seven. Still, I think he's in, in good shape, but... Oh, and he has a three drop. Uh, I mean, he can destroy permits if he wants. Ooh, that's interesting. Is he going to destroy two permanents? Or he's just going to swing with everybody. Or he's just going to leave up the ability to destroy a permanent? Oh, let's say no. God, jeez, so much land. Um, white. Oh, undo. It's supposed to be black. Black, white, colorless. Two creatures all game. Jeez, that's pretty bad. Uh, he might just... No, he has zero cards in hand. Okay. Seems fine. He goes to three. I think he's probably got me because I'm going to go to two here. I just need... If I top deck well, I have a shot. If I don't top deck well, I lose the game definitely. Oh, he found another collected... That was his top deck. No! That's insane. Oh, and it's a haste sliver. All right, good game. Well... Given that I only drew two creatures, that was impressive that I stuck in it so long against a super creature based deck. These are coming in. Um, maybe I throw some cannonists. The rest is. Uh, he only has one non creature spell. I don't know if it's worth it. Pithing Needle, I don't think it's worth it. Relic's not worth it. Most of this stuff is not worth it. I think Shriek Maw is worth it, but what do I take out for is the question. Because most. I just hit yeah, none of my bigger stuff. Um. Arbiter, I mean, Arbiter honestly didn't seem that good. I think I might cut Arbiter. Um, either route didn't seem good, but that was partly just because I didn't... Didn't really hit on it, so... <laughs> um, yeah, not much you can do. If you just don't draw any creatures, the Aether Vials are not good. It's a mostly creature deck, but I I drew not creatures. I drew uh, two creatures and then two paths and then just all lands other than that. I think I don't think I drew anything other than two creatures, two paths, and a bunch of lands. Oh, and an Aether Vial, obviously. So that was a little unfortunate. Um, I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I have too much sideboard against him other than bringing in that little bit of extra targeted removal I have and taking out some of the stuff that's not terribly good against him. I will definitely go first. And this looks like it could be a keep, so I will keep it. I got a turn two, uh, Displacer. Turn one, I'm just gonna put in a Shambling Vent tapped. I got the Displacer Flicker Wisp combo if I want it. I have a Shriek Maul to kill something. I have the Shriek Maul Flicker Wisp combo once I get to 5 mana, which actually won't be that far, right? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So if it, once I play down all my lands, which is turn 4. So this is my turn 4 play. Heh. <laughs> he said 4 play. Um, and Thalia could come in at some point. I think right now I'm just going to rush out the Displacer. I think that's just a better, better card, better play. I could see doing, depends on how he plays, I could see doing Thalia before Flicker Wisp. Well, the Flicker Wisp is pretty nice just because he very well might not have the Flying Sliver, so it might just be able to ping in for damage every turn. I bet he'll choose Slivers. I was correct. Alright. No plays. What land do I play here? Um, if I play, if I'm playing Thalia here, which I could do, I almost definitely play Shambling Vent. If I play Flicker Wisp here, I don't really have any great Flicker targets right now. But if I play Flicker Wisp here, I think I'm gonna wait to Flicker Wisp until this is at like two. 
Um, which, I mean, you can do it next turn, but I think I'm better off with a Thalia. The Shriek Maul's not even good yet, obviously. Void, Colorless, Thalia. Just in case he has a removal spell that he's going to try to cast. Okay. He does have a one drop. It's probably the flyer. That might be the only one drop he runs. He might be able to put two two drops in this turn, but if he does, I can do the sick trick. Oh, he can even play a three drop this turn. Well, let's see what he does. Sedge Sliver, nice. It's gonna get in for two, it seems fine. Ha, uh, another Shriek Maw. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter which one I play here. I think I play Caves. Um, black. Colorless. Cast with Evoke. Let's destroy this one. That was pretty good. Swing in. Does he have a three drop to, f to flash in? He might. No, apparently not. Oh, two drop, I meant. Now he's now he can up it to three if he wants to. He does. That's interesting. Land. Um, it's tempting to swing, but he could have another thing. If he does, though, I can I can still just flicker this and murder whatever it is. Oh, but he could regenerate it, I guess. Oh yeah, he could regenerate it. Um, I think I cast this with Evoke. Black. I don't really need two of them anyway, so I go black colorless. And then I pay two extra for it. Pay two. One. Two. Yep. Do that. Okay. Swing all. Sure. Path to exile. Oh crap, I have a Thalia in play. Oh, that's really bad. Uh, undo. Well, well, that's alright, I guess. I guess he can't trade positively with anything anyway. He'll go down quite a bit, but not die. So that was a little bit of a mistake by me. Of course, on his turn, I can I can path whatever he puts in, but if he puts anything in on his turn. 
That was that was stupid of me. I forgot my, about my own Thalia. <laughs> I was like, I have just enough mana to do it. Okay, flicker something in. Sure. If I try to path it, he will sack it in response and destroy target permanent. Which will probably be this, I'm assuming. I mean, if I had a way to flicker the, the wisp, it would be great, but I don't. I think I, okay, so I think what I'm going to try to do is put in Flicker Wisp targeting his Necrotic Sliver. I don't think it's going to work because he's just going to sack it in response, right? Expect him to sack it in response. No, apparently not. So I'm gonna target Necrotic Sliver. Targeting that. Flicker Wisp, my own thing. That's exactly how I drew it up. I thought he might do it before the Flicker Wisp entered the battlefield. But apparently not. Ooh, a mutable. Oh, Collected Company. That's pretty good for him. Unless he gets a flying, I can swing in for three in the air. I also still have a path up, which is nice. I can also flick your one to... Yep. Cool, got there. Sweet. Uh, that seemed fine. I liked that very much. Um, that was a hard game, though. <laughs> it was definitely interesting, though. Um, okay, I guess I just run it back. I don't think there's anything better in here for me. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's fine. I just don't think I have a great matchup against against this deck. Um, but I got I, I it was relatively close game one, and I got their game two. So I might not have the best matchup against them, but it's it's probably fine. I'm gonna switch to a blank screen for a second so I can see what's going on on Skype. Aha. It is work stuff, so I probably shouldn't have shown you. I can turn it back on because I moved it to my other... Oop, wrong one. There we go. Moved it to my other uh, window. I think I'll keep this. It looks like nothing turn one, but turn two Thalia into turn three Thought Knot. So that's, that's not terrible. I, it might be too... I'm a little worried it'll just be too slow against Slivers, which... Whatever. Slivers are fast. But... You know, I have a chance. I, mean, I, don't, I certainly don't have zero chance. He doesn't have a turn one play. That makes me feel better. Shriek Maul also makes me feel better. It means I could even turn to it if I need to and, and take out something that's really scary, but I'll probably try to hold it for a little while. Uh, if I can get the combo I got last time going, that'll be great. That combo was friggin' amazing. I love that. All right, pass turn. Pass turn. Oh, I'm not in the corner. There we go. Now I'm in the corner. Well, another Thalia is definitely not what I wanted. Um, I could kill that with a Shriek Maw. I think I'm just going to play the Thalia right now instead. Not that I'm super worried about it, but I don't, don't want him getting any ideas about collected companies. I 
don't think he has any flash creatures that can blow me out, so if he wants to attack with the predatory sliver, he probably needs to play a lord pre-combat. Which he very well might be able to do, but um, it would be interesting to at least force him to do that. Does he have, uh, oh, he's paying life. Oh, yes, this member. Oh, okay, sure. That doesn't bother me too much. I have another one of those in hand, which I wish I didn't, but I do. Um, I guess that means turn four, maybe I'm Thalia-ing and Sarah Avengering. Oh, and I got a Flicker Wisp. Uh, I guess without a way to flash that in, though, it's not super good, because I can't use it on the, sh well, I can use it on the Shriek Maw if I pay Shriek Maw as a full-cost creature. Um, yeah, let's just do this one. Okay, let's see what they have in hand. Oh, this might very well die next turn. Um, I meant to get my snip tool. There's that. Oop. New. Uh, eh, I can grab it like this. Abrupt Decay is pretty annoying. He has a lot of removal in this hand. I think Collected Company is actually... So it's one of... Well... If I don't take Collected Company, he literally plays it next turn. Uh, he can't Abrupt Decay... Right? Abrupt Decay is... Uh, yeah, three or less, which is not this. So he can't abrupt decay this. He can't abrupt decay Shriek Maw, technically. So maybe I do take Dismember. Well, the thing is, Dismember also hurts him. I guess everything else in my hand, he can abrupt decay except for Shriek Maw. And Collected Company is definitely the scariest thing, scariest thing, given that he only has one Lord. But yeah, I don't really want him to thought to kill my Thought Knot. So screw it. I'll take Dismember. Um, it could be bad, but it's hard to tell right now. They were all pretty pretty mean things to have. I can cross out this member over here. Get a removal heavy hand. It's gonna collect your company for sure. Yep, they did it main phase, which is probably the right thing to do. Did he hit two lords? No, he just hit a diffusion sliver. Alright, well the diffusion sliver is a little annoying. I can still murder it if I want to. He still really can't attack into me. Um, that's going to be nice to play. No, I guess it won't because I can't kill any of his, his things at value anymore. Because of that stupid diffusion sliver. Um, my options this turn... I feel like Sarah Avenger plus Thalia might be the best. He'll probably kill one of them next turn with Abrupt Decay. Or I can Flicker and get rid of his Abrupt Decay with uh, Flicker Wisp and then play the other two next turn. Hmm. This may be the incorrect play. Still, what I'm gonna do. Can't fly right now. Okay, so he has a bunch of lands and straight nothing other than that right now. What did he draw? Oh god. Oh, he drew another lord? Really? Wow. The blowout. I would take 16 damage if I don't block here. Oh no, I would take more than that. Alright, well I guess I'm blocking. That was an amazing top deck. <laughs> well. <laughs> Not much you can do about that one. Um, five. So this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, wait, 5. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think I might just take it here. That sounds really bad, but I don't think I can afford to block not for value. <laughs> So I think I just take it, go to one, 
I don't think he has anything other than creatures that can hit me. Okay, my turn. He does have one card in hand, technically. How does he have one card in hand? I don't even know how that happened. Um... One, two, three, four, five. So the problem is I can do this, but it takes four mana. And then I can't play anything else, and I think I still lose next turn anyway, because I don't have enough blockers. Um, I think he's just got me, actually. I don't think there's any, any way I can do this. <sighs> wow. He got super lucky at the end. That was the perfect... Good games. That was the perfect talk deck. You can't really stop that. Uh, he, he hit super well on the Collected Company. I probably should have taken the Collected Company and just let him dismember my thought not, but, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times you don't hit, you know, two super good slivers on it. You hit one, and then the other one's fine, and then it's like, well, I can Flicker Wisp and take his other good card, and then I have I can tempo him with Sarah Avenger if he doesn't have, you know, he hit three lords in three turns or whatever, so... That's the way it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web, MagicGatheringStrat.com. There, you can find articles and free prize-supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at patreon.com slash magicgatheringstrat.